The member for North Sydney. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, on a number of occasions over the last few days, we have asked the Prime Minister of this country and the Treasurer of this country to defend their integrity. We have asked them to explain why, immediately before the election, on numerous occasions, they deliberately sought a mandate to rule out a carbon tax, and yet after the election they want to implement a carbon tax. We have asked them to stand up for their courage. They have refused to do so. We have asked them to stand up for their integrity. They have refused to do so. These are the two most important public figures in the land, the Prime Minister and the Treasurer, and they are refusing to protect their personal integrity. Mr Speaker, their sole defence is to attack the integrity of others. Their sole defence is to say something about another person, but they haven't got the courage to defend themselves. They haven't got the courage to defend their words. Mr Speaker, this means that this couple, who have become the Bonnie and Clyde of public policy, are not fit to occupy the offices. They have no mandate for government. They have no mandate for a carbon tax. And they have no courage at all. Not in this place, not amongst the public. How quite unbelievable. Order. I remind the member for North Sydney that this is a motion for the suspension of standing and orders. This is why it is we not are... a debate upon the substantive motion. Mr. Speaker, the member for North Sydney. This is why we are inviting the government to join us in suspending uh, standing orders so there can be a debate about their integrity. We are providing a format and a platform for the Prime Minister to show courage and to show personal integrity to show Australia that she is a person with some conviction. And we are inviting the Treasurer to come up to this place before the Australian people and to show that he does have some semblance of courage. But that courage was not on display at the time when the Prime Minister announced a new tax. This is a Treasurer that has overseen the introduction or increase of 13 taxes in four years. 13 taxes. And the most spectacular and largest of all, he was cowering under his desk while the Prime Minister was outside in the parliamentary courtyard explaining to the Australian people why she was breaking a solemn promise. Well, the Treasurer can cower like a modern-day George Costanza under his desk, but I say to this Treasurer, you cannot come into this place and run away from a debate on your integrity. You cannot come into this place and pretend that somehow everyone else is responsible for your foibles. At some point of time, if you seek to occupy a high office in this land, you have to have some courage to look the Australian people in the eye and be honest. You have to have the confidence to explain to the Australian people why you want to introduce new policy. And the fact that today in this place, the Treasurer is running away from questions about his integrity. The Prime Minister is running away from questions about her integrity. It leaves the Australian people wondering who is running the shop. Who is running the shop? Well, I'd say to you, Mr Speaker, you can see the dynamics on their side of the House. Last night on Q&A, I didn't think that Bill Shorten could not mention Greg Combe's name enough. <laughs> Tying the Minister for Climate Change to the Prime Minister wrapping them around. They're solely responsible for this initiative, he was saying. Oh, how true it is. I'd say to Lady Macbeth, watch out, Order. watch out. Watch out for the others. Watch out for the others, because they will come after you. Because ultimately, what did in the previous Prime Minister, and you held the knife? Well, you held the knife. What did in the previous the Prime Minister will was address his remarks through the chair? What, what, what did in the previous Prime Minister was that the Australian people titles. no longer believed him at his word, and now his successor can no longer be believed at her word. I say to these people: stand up for your integrity, show some courage. Don't give us the hilarious, hysterical laughter. Actually, give us some leadership. You're elected to Order. lead. The Do not cower away from the Australian people. Remarks through the chair.